Today's question starts as such. I am trying to style a ServiceNow field under a certain condition. When I define the condition in the value field of a style, it only applies to the list view and not the form view. When I remove the condition from the value field, it applies regardless of the condition, however, only to the form view and now no longer the list view. How can I create a styling condition that applies conditionally both to the list and the form views on ServiceNow? Today's answer falls under the category of scripting. So if that's what you're in for, let's get to the point. As the questioner implied, the easiest way to customize any type of style for a ServiceNow form or list view is using the field style table. On the form view, right click your field in question and click configure style. Next, click the new button in the upper right hand corner and ServiceNow will auto fill in most of what's already important. To style your field, simply write the CSS code in the style field that will render things the way you want them to appear in this form view. Now here's where stuff gets funny. Without adding anything to the value field, this style will only apply to forms. That's why in most cases people have to make two style records for the same field. One with an empty value that will apply exclusively to the form view, and one with a value of something like Java strip colon true to apply it to the list view. However, the question asker wanted a conditional style that applied to both, which is where we run into a problem. If we adjust the value to something that is conditional, that will fix the styling issue for lists. But of course, then we cannot apply the same logic to forms. According to the docs website, this is a bug that's been around since the Eureka version of ServiceNow. Go figure. <laughs> Luckily, the flexibility of ServiceNow allows us to fix this problem in an alternative way for forms. In either the list or form view for your table in question, right click the header, go to configure, select client scripts, and again, click the new button in the upper right hand corner. Like when we created a field style, this fills in most of the important bits by going through this route, but go ahead and appropriately name your script and change the type to onload. As a reference and kind of a cheat, I also like to copy and paste my value statement from the field style into the description, just as a nice reference point. Now within the brackets of our onload function, which was rendered down below, we're going to be using the G form or glide form class to gather the bits needed to recreate our condition. First, we're going to create a variable variable for the field we are styling using the get element function that will reference the actual HTML element. Next, create variables for each piece of your conditional puzzle using get value. Additionally, if you have more of a complex condition, you can dot walk in this scenario as well. Next, we define our condition using an if statement with our condition as its parameter, recreating essentially what I have in the description box. Within the body of the if statement, we are going to type the variable name for the field that we're wanting to customize after that, put dot style, which will access the HTML DOM style object, and then dot whatever property we're hoping to change. The DOM style properties vary slightly from CSS, so you might have to play around with it for a little bit, but I've gone ahead and included a comprehensive list of those DOM attributes down below. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and end with a semicolon and repeat for as many properties as we're looking to change, and of course, go ahead and press save. And voila, using a combo of the field style table, as well as creating an additional client script, we have successfully created a conditionally styled field that's pervasive across all of our views. Click like down below if this helped you solve your styling issues, and we'll see you next time that we get straight to the point. Cheers.